Patanjali's um, yoga teaches us about an ashtanga or an eight limb system of yoga where the first three limbs, yama, are the observances, um, the way in which we would want to treat others in life, and niyama, which are the personal observances, the way we regard and treat oneself. And asana is an outer practice to prepare the body for practice of meditation. So you can say that yoga in those first two limbs, which are not quite popular, are all about a relationship to oneself and relationship to others. Because before you can really be with your state of authenticity, you must come to know yourself. So yoga really is a journey that brings you there. But why is asana so important and so popular? And it's because it's probably the most tangible out of outer practice that we can relate to. In the mind, before we can actually sit and meditate, is much too restless. It's much too distracted and turned outward, unable to have the restraint required to control the mind to a point of stillness. And so the practitioners of yoga in watching this evolution has probably been appropriate where we start from the more outer practices of yoga to prepare the mind for the inner journey. And so Patanjali has given us asana, the third limb, to help prepare the body so that it can be healthy, flexible, and strong for two reasons, longevity, because if we are healthy and we live long enough, we'll have more experiences from which to attain knowledge and enlightenment. And finally, to have the body refined enough in its ability to be re restrained and disciplined so we can sit in meditation long enough to achieve the inner limbs of yoga.